Okay, water pumps. We don't think about them often, but they're a really important part of our vehicles. Yep, so let's take a step back. You see, the engine is cooled by a coolant antifreeze mixed with water. This mixture circulates around that engine, absorbing some of the heat. The coolant then flows through the radiator where air cools it down for the return trip back through the engine. And the water pump is what drives this process. Now I've heard that cooling system problems are the number one mechanical failure. So the water pump plays a pretty important role. Absolutely right. You can't get very far without a water pump. So do water pumps just wear out? I mean, what causes them to fail? Well, after all those miles and years of pumping coolant, they just wear out. You might notice a whining or grinding sound coming from the water pump, or maybe you'll see coolant leaking from the pump itself. So where is the water pump located? Well, the exact location varies depending on the vehicle. Some have the water pump attached to the outside of the engine where you can see it. With those, the water pump is driven by the serpentine belt. Some have the water pump driven by the timing belt. The timing belt cover often hides the water pump with this setup, so you can't see the pump without removing the cover. Oh great, a little more complicated. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a do-it-yourself project. No, it really isn't. When you have your technician replace your water pump on one of these, you really should replace the timing belt at the same time. You see, we've already gotten things taken apart and the belt's likely been contaminated by coolant. The timing belts usually need to be replaced every 60 to 90,000 miles anyway, so it just makes sense to do both jobs at once. And the opposite is probably true too. When you change the timing belt on this type of engine, replace the water pump while you're at it. Exactly right. The water pump will eventually fail, and getting to it is an expensive project. So for a little more, you can take care of both the timing belt and the water pump at the same time. Good stuff. Thanks, Jeremy.